CX-75 is a celebration. It just represents what's best in Jaguar design. It's about beauty. It's about enjoying something that's mechanical and beautiful. It's a statement of design, it's a statement of intent, and uh, it's a statement of the future. It's actually very light and very, very agile looking. The body of the, the car is pretty small. The muscles of the car, which are the wheel arches, beautiful crystal lines running across the tops of them, and. Uh, position perfectly and the cabin just sits amongst this centrally in a very, very elegant, natural fashion. Jaguar has always been about elegant engineering and you can't get much more elegant than a micro turbine. It's small, compact, very, very exotic, beautifully crafted and they provided a fantastic, very evocative, very romantic, glamorous way of providing a huge amount of power in a very, very exotic supercar. The form of the interior really feels like you're there and the air's being sucked in around you back into the engine. And you're very much sitting right in the eye of the storm. You're right at the center of that powertrain. That's going to be a fantastic experience, you know, unlike anything anyone's ever driven before. Because of its mechanical layout, we have so much more freedom than we've ever had before, and to that end, we can be much more creative. And so what's determining the shape of the car now is less of what's inside it, more of what we want to express. This entire car is an elegant solution in every sense about efficiency and it's about beauty. And it's not just about aesthetic beauty, but it's about mechanical beauty as well. To that end, I see it much more of an art form.